We are going to look at how you can make uh, your own backdrop. To make backdrops you go in this part of the program and you can choose backdrops from the library in Scratch by just clicking on the backdrop. So if I wanted to use maybe this as the backdrop, see the background changes and the characters are placed on top of the background. But we are not supposed to use uh, built-in backgrounds, we are going to use, uh, to make a background ourselves. So, uh, I will go up here into backdrops, and then you can see backdrop we just uh, loaded. And you can also see the backdrop that we all started with, it, it's a, a blank background, it's white. So I will just remove this background and I'll start to paint or draw a background for these characters. The simplest way of drawing is by using bitmap. Uh, the default mode of drawing in Scratch 3 is vector uh, graphics. So then you can draw maybe a circle here. You get handles on it and you can later change that thing by clicking this one and this one and just change that thing or also uh, delete it. Same goes for text and the other things you can draw. So if I draw a square or rectangle over here change the fill and even if I choose the other one this one is still selectable so that's a big advantage with drawing with vector graphics we are not going to use vector graphics here we are going to use bitmap the simplest way of drawing and if you have used paint or some other drawing simple drawing program that's uh, uh, maybe a thing that's familiar to you. Then make a rectangle over here if I can. So that the rectangle fills the entire background. And then change the background color to something that's really light. Doesn't matter, I'll change it later. Click this one. Still selectable. Convert to bitmap. And then I can try and paint with a paintbrush. Make some black color here. Then make a shape up here. And then shape down here. And then I can use the bucket to fill in a very lightly blue color. You see, that's kind of the sky, and then I want some green color in the middle. Green, and then fill this one, and then I, that's very, very dark. I'll make it lighter. It's maybe too strong color. Okay, it's a little bit big. And then the shape down here, I'll just make it uh, kind of a yellow color. Yellow orange color, something like that. That's okay, if you are better at drawing than me, that's very good. But for now, this background is okay. You can also upload your own backgrounds backdrops, but um, maybe you'll have to put a little bit more uh, into it than I have done, but I, I, I'll, I'll just stop there. So you can draw your own backgrounds in Scratch, and that's what I've done now. 
Let's move these characters a little bit. This is not a very good description or course in how you make backgrounds, but You get the idea, and that was what I was trying to, to accomplish. So now if you start the program, it still works, and the characters are talking, and there is a background. Next up we will look at some very simple animations for this uh, dialogue assessment.